holonomic model of transcendence. Activation and integration. Through the reconnection of the 12 basal circuits in the ceremony of original innocence, an emotional foundation on which to build an expanded sense of self is established. From this platform, we enter the second phase of the template model, the phase of activation and integration. Within this phase, there are two alchemically coded ceremonies, the 13th circuit ceremony and the sacred breath ceremony. In both these ceremonies, Platonic and Archimedean geometry provides one of the three components within the alchemical code that reconnects the 13th circuit and the seven circuits of the pranic mechanism reconnected in the ceremony of sacred breath. Language of light, the sacred wedding. Staring into the sun just before sunset, it is possible to differentiate the beams of light that pulsate so miraculously from this grand star as liquid gold fractal transmissions, an endless code of light intelligence. This light code, a cascade of radiant matrices, holds the evolutionary harmonic that merges with the magnetic Gaia rhythms pulsating from the Earth's biospheric aura. The embrace of these two potencies of creation is the sacred marriage of the mother of form and the father of consciousness, the quantum tantra of creation. All of the natural world is born of this union. Nature is a series of codes and counter resonance, building between the two a matrix of archetypal patterning that translates this quantum tantric relationship into the principles of matter. Expressing this alchemical union as life forms that walk, fly, and swim, clothed in fur, feather, and skin, trees, flowers, and shimmering wings, all sprung from a palette of light. These codes are written in the language of light geometry, sacred geometry. As one of the two waveforms of creation, light is the radiant primal life impulse endlessly transmitted from the galactic directive and translated by our sun. Light holds within it codes that reach out to our earth for resonant fields with which to create. The transmission of the electric information data that is light remains a stream of non-manifest potency until it unifies with a magnetic, gravitational, resonant field. It is the magnetic potency of Earth's gravitational field, which, spiraling up from her biospheric aura, provides this field, the unified field of manifest existence. The egg-like feminine receptors of the magnetic earth pulse provide the integrity of form. Taking the electric light directive of the seed impulse through integration and synthesis into crystallization. Through the embrace of these two concentric waveforms of creation is conceived the hologram of manifest existence. The 13th circuit ceremony of activation and integration through its design and progression creates a field of resonance for this creation code.
drawing you into the courtship of creation and building a conduit of coherent, conscious communion between your incarnate body presence, your original blueprint, and ultimately, the source of your creation. The Sacred Geometry of the Template. Conscious communion with sacred geometry is a fundamental aspect of our evolutionary awakening. In seeking illumination on the higher physics of creation in order to understand the mechanism that governs the implicate order of all manifest existence and to realize the full human potential within this whole system of holonomic evolution, we find ourselves in the realm of sacred geometry. The human DNA code, like all else in the living universe, is built upon hyper-cooperative, interactive energy pathways of ultra-organized creative intelligence. This creation code is the intelligent patterning of information that spells out the gift of creation specific to the complete human blueprint. The various octaves that make up this harmonic code have been donated by many sentient sovereign beings from many far-flung star systems that gave of their genetics in a time of peace that was sealed with the symbol of the bird. Embedded in the human matrix, out of reach of any form of manipulation, the covenant that is the soul blueprint is written in the sacred geometric language of light. The primary infrastructure of all existence is light. All is light. All is geometry. As sacred geometry is a configurative language of the elemental components of the divine creative force that gives birth to all life. It offers a direct conduit to prime consciousness, to source. Bypassing the dogmatic perimeters of the intellect to transmit knowledge that exists beyond the reach of religion, philosophy, belief, or disbelief. Sacred geometry is a pure language that cares not for the country you come from, the color of your skin, or your cultural beliefs. It seeks only to unify humanity by exposing the interrelating harmony that lies at the heart of our creation. As we interact with sacred geometric forms, we are communing with the higher creation frequencies that resonate with our original blueprint prior to the genetic modification of the human DNA. One of the most important discoveries of the new quantum physics is that of the holographic nature of the universe. Each human is a fractal aspect of the universal holography. The geometric language of light that forms the underlying matrix of this hologram is the alphabet of the new paradigm. Although the present manifestation of the human race is not representing the full potency of that hologram due to its genetic modification, the blueprint for this immortal template exists within the soul covenant embedded in the human matrix. As we commune with sacred geometric forms, we interact with their fields of informational influence. Their energetic radiance emits a frequency that communes with the vibratory infrastructure of our original blueprint in search of a like frequency with which to resonate. 
Through this resonant feedback, the structural integrity of the original human template present in the soul covenant is reinforced. When a specific design and progression of these geometric creation codes are ceremoniously united with a consciously spoken resonant sonic code, an alchemy is created that triggers coherence between the vibratory infrastructure of the soul covenant and the incarnate physical body. This coherence follows pathways of electromagnetic circuitry. In order to understand the implicate order of our own creation, we need to expose ourselves to the luminous simplicity of the language in which it is written, the sacred geometric language of light. The sacred geometric configurations of the six elemental alchemical components of creation, water, air, earth, fire, ether, and the sixth element of stellar radiance in their three stages of manifestation, iconic, embryonic, and crystalline, are the components within the alchemical code of the template ceremonies. The resonant transmission of these forms in their various creation formulae replicates the soul covenant embedded in the human matrix. Third dimension, fully manifest in form. Contrary to popular belief, the full manifestation of the third dimension is the highest evolutionary challenge for the human race at this time. Not only because in its full glory it is a realm of beauty beyond the imagination of the most talented visionary artist, but because it is the stargate to all other dimensions. On Earth, in this time zone, we are experiencing the lower octave of the third dimension we call duality. Duality is a frequency zone mutually created by the oscillating transmissions of several billion units of human circuitry, transmitting brainwave patterns, creating the environmental visual audible feedback of a reality that validates the mutant state of the human DNA. Through war, famine, genocide, and the subjugation of the natural world. These wave patterns are emanating from a central complex in the human brain and are the bioinformational signals transmitted by the ratio of neurochemicals manufactured and stabilized in this alchemical crucible. The atomic composition and ratio of these chemicals is determined by the function and interaction of the three magical glands, the pituitary, hypothalamus, and pineal. These glands are in atrophy, as is the entire endocrine system, as a result of the disconnection of the circuitry that provides them with their electromagnetic life force. The atomic makeup of the neurochemicals produced by these glands is ultimately geometric. The incompetent ratio of these chemicals due to the atrophy of the manufacturing organ results in the dormancy of several configurations of the geometric spectrum of the third dimensional life directive. This is mirrored not only in the behavioral modification of the human race, but also in the natural world. The fractal composition that dictates the dimensional expression of nature is missing parts of the holographic prism through which light is photosynthesized and so expresses a lesser vibrancy and spectrum of color. In the full manifestation of third dimensionality, coexisting 
with all other prime dimensions. There are trees so deeply green, they are almost as blue as midnight. Each leaf is as a faceted jewel that when slightly turned, emanates a fractal beam of deep violet with a golden hue shining from its core. And suddenly there for a moment is the most brilliant opal-hued silver flash, water, liquid crystal. Lavender beams swimming in its depths, becoming pink and palest blue and creamy opal white, and geometry dancing beneath it all as every living thing celebrates together the conscious ceremony of life eternal. For here there is no shadow, no separation. There is so much light as the grand Mahaspheric sun embraces you with each beam of light a thousand loving arms in a cosmic embrace. And when that sun sinks away into the turquoise indigo night of a billion stars, you will not sleep but awaken into a realm of celestial dreaming, listening within the cathedral night to the starry orchestra, star child that you are. Riding on the alpha waves of deep inner star-studded space to the shores of morning light. And there again the sun that never left, but only withdrew its light that you might know it through its starry consorts. And returns now as dawn's caress upon this beloved earth. As sunrise brings the promise of another day filled only with the joy of living and loving. This dimension exists now here on Earth and within us. Our collective consciousness has chosen to focus within this frequency zone because this is where it is needed to resurrect our ability to receive, translate, and transmit the full spectrum of the radiance matrix of the creation directive, light. As a seed race, we are coded to respond to various cultural and environmental stimuli, to awaken from the dream of duality. As we throw off the sleep of ages, connecting back into the never-ending or beginning slipstream of universal data flow, each of us becomes a portal, a world bridger. As we collectively amass a global resonant field of source awareness, through resurrected circuitry, we stabilize a bridge for the exodus of our immortal race to return to its rightful place within the galactic holography, within the immortal continuum. We will then begin the journey of conscious development that has been arrested by the modification of our DNA, the disconnection of our circuitry, and by the destabilization of our solar system which has aborted us from the womb of holistic evolution. An evolution not defined by the acceleration of technology or the discovery of cures for the ever escalating number of plagues. While our children continue to be abused and while most of the world lives in abject misery, poverty and fear. This is not evolution. This is simply a mutant detour to render our prisons more comfortable for those who can afford it. As illumination reaches some, the darkness escalates. Such is the genius of this dualistic paradigm, containing as it does its own self-regulating system of wardenship. To break out of this frequency zone, we must cooperate and unify our intentions. Coming out of denial of the global situation and understanding that it is not enough to make this reality work for you personally. By seeing all your ever-expanding comfort zones satiated through a hollow definition of abundance, evolution will begin with the reconnection to source and the autonomous definition of that source within the human psyche, beyond the imposition of those who have written the history books through the prism of their own desires and agendas.
as the fetus of humankind once again draws succor from its umbilical connection to the benevolent heart of creation. Source consciousness awakens to them, within them, seeding the embryogenesis that will birth the transcendental human. The stargate of the third dimension beckons to us. Step through the portal ceremoniously. It is so easy. It has already begun. Feel the deep magnetic pull of the universal hologram drawing you into the eye of the joyous storm of life eternal. It will not fail you. Its power is love. The 13th circuit of activation and integration. The physics of consciousness in the archetypal arena. The reconnection of the 13th circuit of activation and integration is the first introduction to the full spectrum of the third dimensional frequency. This frequency is translated in the human energy field as a result of the communion with the influential harmonic transmitted by the design and progression of 23 forms of geometric fractals of the third dimensional creation code in unison with their sonic counterparts. This ceremony activates the occipital terminus of the 13th circuit to function as a delivery system and decoder of the third dimensional creation code. The function of the coccyx terminus of the 13th circuit is to integrate this code into the time-space coordinates of the incarnate body presence. The reconnection of this circuit of electromagnetic intelligence is a major step in the resynthesis of the human energy field into the governing mechanism of the universal holography, bypassing the sentimental fear, shame, and guilt-based programming of historical orthodox religions that are tearing the world apart. The influx of intelligence data originating from the source of the hologram impacts the human at the level of the core identity and begins the cleansing of the archetypal arena by redefining the meaning of source, God, directly through the energetic language of creation. The erroneous definition of source, God, is the most malevolent and powerful manipulation of human consciousness. This quintessential mycelium of deception has been perpetrated in a myriad of ways, including the manipulation of historic recall and the insertion of a false ancestry. This false inheritance has entrenched within the psyche the archetypal duality of the demonic and angelic models, creating conflict on the deepest strata of human behavioral reference and resulting in deep wounds of separation, spiritual abandonment and betrayal. In order to realize and stabilize the new paradigm that will spring from the redefinition of source, we must establish within the archetypal arena, the iconic model that defines our highest evolutionary purpose, to function as conduits and instruments of light and love. This is the prime function of the ceremony of activation and integration that reconnects the 13th circuit. This ceremony is a replica of the courtship of creation holding the frequency model of the activating life directive transmitted from the heart of the cosmos and the receptive integrating pulse that emanates from the crystalline core of this planet Earth. Placing the individual unit of circuitry as the conjugal mediator of these two creation frequencies. Resurrecting the human body temple as the sacred enclosure for the sacred marriage, the marriage of the mother of form and the father of consciousness. 
This ceremony bypasses the present model of historical and cultural behavior and the patriarchal language that it employs. To transcend the dualistic framework of present day psychology and psychiatry and escorts you into the arena of alchemical experience, allowing for the healing of the deep wounds of abandonment and betrayal that have dogged the human race. This occurs not through intellectual analysis, but by reconnecting the human electromagnetic field energetically to the magnitude of the life impulse emanating endlessly from the galactic core and by enticing human consciousness through the gateway of life eternal, linking its spiraling energy field into the electromagnetic wheels of the never beginning, never ending cycle of existence, radiating from the monadic, omnipotent, omnipresent source awareness. The embrace of this holonomic model that governs all of existence resurrects the potential for self-rejuvenation that is our natural state. We are an immortal race, locked in a mortal paradigm. The 13th circuit ceremony of activation and integration brings electromagnetically the vibrational liberation from this dimensional prison. The immortal core identity rises phoenix-like from the soul covenant to embrace the divine matrix of form that is the physical body. Consciousness awakens within the fulcrum point of manifest creation within the unified field. The victim becomes the creation and the creator. You are not only this, you are the universe. circuit ceremony. The thirteenth circuit ceremony initiates the cleansing of the archetypal arena, not by reprogramming it, but by attuning the heart-body-mind system to the resonance of the geometric soul covenant embedded in the human matrix, the original human blueprint. The design and progression of the 23 geometric fractals of the third dimensional creation code and their sonic counterparts are resonant with the various aspects of the holonomic agreement that lies at the heart of the human masterpiece. As this agreement is awakened through frequency resonance, the 13th circuit is reinstated. The sonic code is an alchemical component within this resurrection that linguistically redefines the human as a sentient sovereign entity, able to access and translate the full spectrum of the life directive present in the informational matrix of light. This reinforces the primal resonant integrity of the human celestial seeding and the soul's lineage present within the evolutionary harmonic seed codes that are the tree of life and the tree of knowledge, a creation code given by many sentient beings from many star systems. Each of the 23 pieces of sacred geometry that forms an alchemical component within this ceremony corresponds to the aspect of the holonomic symbiotic code of the covenant in which the human design is the sensory organ for planetary ascension and earth and the entire solar system is the counter resonant organ for human ascension this harmonic galactic identity is evident within the stunning sonic code that begins by honoring our connection to the reservoir of pleasure and causal desire, and continues on with the many facets of the quintessential divine identity that defines the human as an instrument of light and love for the benevolence of creation.
resurrecting the geometric soul covenant. The physical body is as sacred as the soul. In the teachings of orthodox religion, the soul is always immortal and far superior to the flesh and bones of the body. The same dualistic perception of separation defines heaven as up there and hell in the center of the earth. It is this focus upon the spirit, the soul, the unseen, as more worthy of our respect than the incarnate, disposable fabric of material existence that allows for the abuse of our bodies and the desecration of our environment. The separation of spirit from matter is the founding reference originating from the iconic model within the psyche that leads both to our estrangement from the governing mechanism that would gift us with the immortal continuum and to the present neuropsychobiology that initiates the deterioration of the physical body into death. Everything about the ceremonies of activation and integration is focused towards the reunification of spirit and matter, of body and soul. The linguistic code and the visual synthesis of geometric configurations echo and mirror the integration, synthesis and crystallization of these two potencies of creation. The linguistic code that accompanies the tantric star or star tetrahedron acknowledges the body as the sacred enclosure for the sacred marriage of spirit and matter. Each ceremony within the template series ends with these words. I acknowledge and honor my physical being as the pinnacle of manifestation of my spiritual identity. This is a powerful and healing statement that echoes the frequency of physical immortality as it recognizes the sacred tantric union of spirit and matter. The soul cannot be found within the genetic material from which we are constructed. It is, however, the energetic inspiration that allows for manifestation of this material, the blueprint for the blueprint. The genetic code within the DNA is the readout of the extent to which the manifest entity is embodying its soul covenant. The soul is an interdimensional hyperfractal and exists within every molecule of your being. What you see of yourself in the mirror is that fractal of your soul covenant that has made it across the bridge, the portion that has been birthed into form, the blueprint of your soul covenant, activated and integrated by your ability to translate the language it is written in, light. The fraction of the creation code that you are able to download into manifest existence and which the morphogenetic field is able to support and quantify. This fractal of your identity is being dictated by the genetic modification of your DNA and the disconnection of your circuitry. When you begin to think in terms of holograms, you see that nothing exists in isolation. Everything is a part of everything else. The soul covenant, rather than a sentimentalized, lofty censoring device that registers all your shameful sins, is instead a living schematic of information that requires your ability to access it and birth it into physical being. Our thoughts and actions that move in opposition to the covenant in which to give and receive love in all that we do is the foundation requirement, closes the heart center and retards the soul's expression in our bodies, our lives, our world. The 
original human blueprint is a fractal of the hyper-holographic universe. Your blood contains the same divine essence and molecular alchemy as the rivers that run to the sea. Your bones made of the same elemental components as the ancient stone monoliths that have silently witnessed the passing of eons. We are continually exchanging a data flow of source intelligence with the body of Earth and every form of life within her embrace as circuits of electromagnetic exchange bind us together as one living ocean of psychosensory interconnected space-time coordinates within the universal order. Never was there a time when any form of life within this ocean did not exist. As all of life transits within this field of existence to recreate itself in whatever forms available within the matrix. Taking into the next incarnation the data that it has gathered, repeating the cycle until it learns to break the cycle of degeneration by breaking the codes of creation. When a critical mass of gathered source intelligence is transmitted from a consciously awakened group of individuals within this field and fed into the biospheric membrane of the morphogenetic grid, the present paradigm explodes with light no longer able to hold back the tides of the unborn, eternal, everlasting continuum. As we expand and mutate into light translating units of biocircuitry within this whole mechanism, we open portals into the symbiosis of the soul covenant that allows for the growth and evolution of our solar system, our galaxy, and our universe to seep into our everyday domesticity, to transform the mundane into the transcendent, bursting the seams of superficiality that masquerade as culture, to allow the radiant emissaries of light to delineate a new model of existence beyond the present pain of being human, beyond fear. All this evolutionary potential is already in our keeping within our soul covenant and within our bodies. The geometric soul covenant and the ceremonies of activation and integration. Like all else in the living universe, the soul covenant embedded in the human matrix is built upon the vibratory infrastructure of a mycelium of energy pathways that are geometric. The particular creation code of the human soul covenant holds a spatial cognizance that is not only in holonomic resonance with Earth's gyospheric receptor codes, but also holds an evolutionary resonance with directive intelligence codes of stellar radiance emanating from every celestial body in the solar system and every subsystem of every galaxy and every universe thereafter. All existence performs upon the mechanics of holography, an interspatial, interdimensional, Celtic network of electromagnetic information systems embracing all from the subatomic to the multi-universal. The data bank of the soul covenant is not a fixed, linear, consequential readout of information that runs on a timeline, but rather a living, vibrating torus of interdimensional, interactive, interconnecting, co-creative, holonomic systems. Systems that share spatial cognizance, a self-inventing, rubric cube of interlacing mandalic codes, a holographic vehicle through which any time or energy level in the universe can be experienced. This holographic vehicle has been known in various ancient texts as the Merkaba, of which the star tetrahedron is a fractal. This Merkaba 
is the geometric soul covenant holographically embedded in the human matrix and holds the blueprint for the original human design prior to genetic modification. This blueprint is written in the geometric language of light. The holography of this blueprint is a symbiotic code in which the human design is a sensory organ for planetary transcendence as Earth is the sensory organ for human transcendence. The geometric directive receptive transmissions of electricity and magnetism are transduced and translated through the human body presence and simultaneously holonomically form the virtual semblance of the body instrument, manifesting through the activation and integration of the geometric soul covenant embedded within the human matrix. The Soul Covenant is the original human template prior to genetic modification. It is that which defines us as universal progenitors of life, that which defines us as able to create. This is the quintessence of our divine nature and the way in which we mirror the creation code that lies at the heart of the cosmic hyper-hologram. The higher physics of creation are a system of codes and counter-resonance. The template ceremonies are a replica of this creation code, present in the soul covenant. The reconnection of circuitry is the result of the counter-resonance experienced by the human electromagnetic field in response to the code. The alchemical ceremonies that lie at the core of the template of transcendence form a resonant counterpart for the soul covenant. The sole purpose of the template ceremonies is to resurrect the blueprint, the light body. In the 13th circuit ceremony, the sacred geometric language of light is objectified through the visual embrace of this language by the actual presence of the geometry that forms the structure of light. Together with the resonant linguistic code that replicates this fractal of the soul covenant, the 13th circuit is reinstated. The geometric language of light is configured in the full spectrum of the third dimension. As the 13th circuit is reconnected via resonance with this language, the full electromagnetic frequency of the third dimension is introduced into the human energy field. Ceremony of Sacred Breath The Pranic Causeway The reconnection of both terminals of the 13th circuit in the occiput and coccyx opens and prepares the pranic causeway that forms a tubular capsule around the spinal column. Mapped throughout this causeway are ultra-sensitive nodal receptors that represent the entire endocrine system. Each receptor is resonantly programmed to identify a fractal of the bioinformational creation signal present in the atomic structure of prana. Each node has a geometric resonant receptor that corresponds to a twin resonance within the structure of the pranic signal. This signal is a life directive emanating from the benevolent source of creation and holds the immortal code. As the node receives the signal, it is then transmitted to the relevant endocrine organ. The more capable the receptors are of receiving the full spectrum of the pranic code, 
the more bioinformational life resonance is transmitted to the endocrine system, and the more of the tantric language of light present in prana is available for translation, utilization, and transmittance by the full spectrum of the human heart-body-mind complex. This capability is activated and integrated in the sacred breath ceremony as seven circuits of the pranic mechanism are reconnected. As you weave your way through the sacred breath ceremony, you commune with 14 stunning pieces of stellate geometry unifying with the cosmic directive, embracing the Earth's pulsations, immersing yourself in the rhythmic tides of prana, merging with the never-ending, one eternal breath that is shared by every living thing. Drifting beyond the reach of time, you feel yourself a part of the spherical mandala of the universal hologram as it unfolds and displays to you its fractal composition in a starry array that stirs remembrance, awakening your quintessential identity, star child that you are. Breath, the molecular cohesion that crystallizes spirit into form. The spoken vow between spirit and matter, the cohesive divine influence that allows for the stimulation of the cerebral cortex and the intricate brain chemistry that gives the eyes the gift of sight, the ears of sound, the heart to feel. Breath is the bridge to consciousness, the transformation of awareness into form and motion, the medium through which we witness the daily miracle. In the soul covenant embedded within the human matrix is a holonomic symbiotic code in which human design is the sensory organ for planetary ascension and earth is the sensory organ for human ascension. The catalytic component that crystallizes the alchemy of this divine union is light. Light is assimilated through prana. Prana is assimilated breath. Through this co-creative interaction, the hologram reveals itself as breath weaves the matrix into coherence. Prana is the life directive made accessible to the human hologram through molecular resonance. With each breath, we step into the wheel of eternal existence, sharing the one eternal breath that is shared by every living thing on every planet in every solar system, in every galaxy of every universe. Your breath escorts you into the churning mandalas of co-creative interactive fractals that compose the holographic template of all manifest existence. You are not only you, you are the universe. Each breath affects the whole because you are the whole. You are the source. As the holographic emissaries of prime consciousness, you are fractals of the one, of the monad. The degree to which you are able to translate the pranic code is the degree to which you integrate, synthesize, and crystallize the monadic prime consciousness within the benevolent heart of creation into your own human template, becoming a conscious conduit of light and love, stepping into your light body, into the immortal continuum, through your breath. Prana is drawn into the body from the heart center, from the central fractal of the human hologram. Within the geometric human matrix, this is the stellate cube octahedron, or the iconic Terra Prana Star. The stargate through which the pranic creation code emanating from source infiltrates the body system to interface with the chakra systems. As air is drawn into the body system from the atmosphere, it is decoded by the chakra systems 
to alchemically catalyze the pranic code. Breath is the synthesis of prana and air. It is the combination of the conscious drawing in of prana, the pranic circuitry, the chakra system, and the pranic causeway that encompasses the spinal column, which together comprise the holonomic system that is the pranic mechanism. The more circuitry connects into this mechanism, the more the chakra systems are able to synthesize the molecular structure of air within the pranic code, and the more of this code can be utilized within the pranic causeway. The sixth element, stellar radiance. In the ceremony of sacred breath, all of the geometries used are stellate, integrating as they do the sixth element of stellar radiance. Stellar radiance is that form of light that carries the creation code of prana. Prana is the primal form of radiant intelligence before it is translated in the differentiated spectrums of color that we know as light. The light we see and translate as emanating from our sun is the sun's translation of the pranic code emanating from the heart of the cosmos. As this radiance enters the heart of the solar hologram, it is translated and transmitted through the lensing systems of its own pranic mechanism and is transmitted as the solar matrix of the immortal continuum in the form of light. This translation of radiance becomes usable data for the biocomputational field of the human unit of circuitry to decode and utilize. A code to activate and integrate the symbiosis between the inhabitants of Earth and the solar system. Our sun is the mediator of galactic intelligence projected as radiant light from the benevolent source of creation. Each one of us is a star projecting the human form of pranic intelligence particular to planet Earth. It is the presence of these geometric formulae of radiant light that activates and integrates the resonant stellar code within the soul covenant. The full pranic code holds the immortal harmonic. Once the human biocomputational unit of circuitry is fully connected into the creation mechanism of the universal holography, it is then able to decode the full spectrum of the intelligence data present in prana. The immortal harmonic synthesizes and crystallizes within the incarnate body presence, unifying the physical matrix with the design pattern of the original blueprint present in the geometric soul covenant, thus resurrecting the light body. In the ceremony of sacred breath, the activation and integration of the pranic mechanism is initiated through the reconnection of seven circuits into this system. It is the circuitry of the Temple of Time ceremony that reconnects the pranic mechanism into the space-time continuum of solar galactic holography. The one circuit of the ceremony of universal unification, which awakens the universal symbiosis that exists between the human entity and the benevolent heart of creation, allows for the decoding of the full pranic transmission that is the breath of immortality. The central fractal within the human holonomic mechanism is the iconic Terra Prana star, the heart star. 
It is through this juncture that all systems within the interactive, interconnecting mechanism of the human matrix are interwoven. It is the fulcrum point through which we embody the benevolence of our creation. Within the individual unified field of each human entity, it is the very soul of the soul. The heart, as it is now universally understood, has always been pinpointed as the seat of love, as the center from which compassion, understanding, and forgiveness emanate. This is because the heart center is the central fractal of the human hologram from which emanates the one circuit that unifies all forms of life with the benevolent source of creation. It is through this center that we are able to allow the purest form of this benevolence and to the extent of our ability express it humanly. It is not that the heart chakra center is in some way more spiritual or more important. It is its positioning within the whole system that makes it an energetic terminus for the inflow of source data and the outflow of cognizant feedback. I am the sensory expression of the benevolence of creation. This is the mantra for the heart star. It is a sonic frequency that when unified with the manifest form of the iconic Terra Prana star or heart star, opens the heart center and stimulates the production of endorphins. Endorphins are a sacred salve that eradicate fear through the reinstigation of divine identity. The entire sacred breath ceremony stimulates the production of this hormone through the acceleration of pranic nourishment, prana being the data flow from the benevolence of creation. The heart star, as it is placed within the soul covenant, is in frequency resonance with the heart chakra. When this center is performing at its optimum ability, it acts as the decoding transmitter, able to synthesize and transmute all incoming data from the entire chakra system. The frequency with which this chakra center is able to spin dictates the resonance between the manifest physical human form and its light body. The light body exists as a hyperspin frequency in resonance with the omnipotent heart of creation. The higher the spin frequency of the human heart center, the greater the resonance with the light body and the ability to unify with it. When these bodies come into total alignment, the transformation from carbon base to crystalline is complete. True actualization of transubstantiation, ascension. The frequency of this center spin is reliant upon the density of conditions laid upon its function. The vibration of fear as a result of the conditions of abandonment and betrayal greatly subdue the spin frequency. As a result of the modification of the human DNA and the disconnection of circuitry, that part of the covenant which maintains connection to source and coherent comprehension of quintessential identity has become deactivated, materializing within the heart of humanity as a deep condition of abandonment and betrayal. This condition is played out endlessly in a myriad of diverse dramas that plague, to some degree, all relationships. On a global scale, this disconnection has materialized as a massive paranoia and has galvanized a fragmentation of self-realization born of erroneous definition of God. The healing of abandonment and betrayal is initiated by the return of resonance within the heart star 
and the reactivation of that part of the soul covenant that defines the human as an aspect of its source, and thus an emissary of that source's potential as a creator of life. Through this embrace of core identity is born the true definition of our sexuality. It is this, the most powerful and self-regenerative human ability that defines us as universal progenitors of life and the harbingers of the light family, the bird tribe. And the true fecundity of our sexual identity is our liberation. The most vital aspect of the template lies in its codes. Beyond the accumulation of information, the template gifts the initiate with sacred ceremonial formula that trigger the reconnection of the most fundamental life force energy system to resurrect the masterpiece of the original human design. Your heart-body-mind system is your personal instrument with which to function as an ambassador of light, an emissary of love, a conduit through which the benevolence of creation can infuse this reality, not only for your sake, but for the sake of those who in countries across this globe can feel the shift in the quality of time and light and know that portals of opportunity are opening through which they can transcend the pain and suffering that being human has come to mean to them. In the reconnection of your circuitry, you instigate an acceleration of electromagnetic source consciousness into this time-space frequency zone, undermining the present fear-based, conflict-riddled predominant world structure simply by being. Each one of you adding a fractal of consciousness to the required critical mass of the new paradigm hologram. This ultimately creates a stable resonant field of evolutionary opportunity with which those who are unable consciously to take part ceremoniously can simply decide on a soul level to attune their being. Your recalibrated vibration will be felt by the tribal child on the African plain whose mother has been taken by AIDS by the pubescent soldier conscripted into a war he doesn't understand, by the urban teenager reaching for his inherent right to experience bliss by taking up a needle. Remember, it is not so much about time as about numbers. Share this information. The new paradigm will not be born of the mind alone. The new paradigm will be understood in the mind felt in the heart and made tangible in the body. Ceremony is a seed planted. <laughs>